Eat, Drink, Explore radio show. It is now 9.49 in the morning on this uh, sunny, crisp California day, November 11th, Veterans Day. Uh, chilly, chilly overnight. Another day where we saw a frost advisories yes. throughout the state. And you might have seen some ice on the rooftops, even in coastal California, which r- <clears throat> rarely happens. I mean, it does happen several times a year, but it's uh, still it's not something that you see very often. So warm up with a little conversation and perhaps a nice warm pot of tea. Pot of tea. <gasps> you uh, don't say. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Patty is a, a big tea orderer mm-hmm. over online. She does yes. a lot of online tea ordering. Uh-huh. And uh, the two of us, uh, we would have our coffee in the morning, but we don't we'll also have tea, tea. when we were yes. uh, anchoring the news together. And uh, I know that she loves her a green tea. And green I've always, tea. Mm-hmm. I've always, there's so many different kinds. And I had a favorite uh, Chinese restaurant in San Francisco that I would go to. And I, I loved their blend. So I asked him what their blend was. And then I went to a local shop and I, I threw it together myself. It was mm-hmm. a little bit of jasmine with a little bit oh. of uh, oolong, I think, was the combo. Okay. And I absolutely loved it. So you're probably wondering, tea, I thought the compass hour is bird. Uh, where do you get that? <laughs> well, uh, as I found out doing a little research, apparently the people who harvest Harvest the tea when over in China when they see birds favoring a certain area and picking the leaves themselves, they know that like that's a good, that's the place to go. The birds know the place to harvest because the birds okay. know. So uh, that makes the name of the company Bird Pick Tea and Herb in Southern California. Janae Bagley joins us right now to give us some tea tips. Hi, Janae. Hi, Randall. How are you? Good morning. Uh, Good morning to you, and I appreciate you joining us uh, to give us a little bit of insight when it comes to tea. Now, I would imagine, what, what, like 99% of all the tea grown in the world is grown in Asia? Absolutely. Most of it is grown in Asia, but you'd be surprised there's tea grown in all sorts of regions of the world. We as Americans just don't know it because we're such a uh, coffee-consuming society. (laughs) (laughs) We just drink coffee all the time, so it's wonderful to hear that. You drink tea in the morning that you enjoy tea and you're out to learn about what tea can do for you. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And uh, my, my mom drinks tea. I know that they watch the show here. Mm-hmm. And so uh, she but she gets that kind. It's like a powdered Japanese. Uh, what's that called? Mache or something? Oh, it yeah. Green. It's green. Yes. Absolutely. That's powdered green tea. You're congesting the whole tea leaf at the same time that way. And so you get more of the like antioxidant benefit. Yes, it is like a super power food. So imagine putting all your energy into that little tea leaf and you get all the antioxidants, a boost in energy. It's full of uh, catagens, which is great for anti-cancer properties. And it's known to lower cholesterol levels and blood sugar levels. So it's awesome. Wow, I'm on it. Well, it's fascinating the way you, um, the name, the bird pick and where it came from. Uh, So how is it that birds know where the best tea is? Well, I believe that must be bird instinct, but we... um, And you're just capitalizing on that. (laughs) Right? Uh, The name originates from a grandfather's story that's been passed down to us. Oh, I like that. And it's basically the birds pick the best tea leaves to nourish their body. And so we at Bird Pick try to do the same and uh, pass along the great health benefits to our society. What is the world's most popular tea? Is it oolong? At the moment, no, it's actually green tea is the most popular tea. And, oh, okay. And what is the difference between green and black tea? The black tea has been fermented? Uh, there is fermented black tea, but the main difference between green and black is that black has been oxidized longer than green tea has. Oh, I see. And so in that sense, the black tea has more caffeine, but at the same time has less uh, antioxidants than the green tea. Oh, Okay, so the traditional like British tea does not have the... Uh, the same properties as the green tea. Yeah. No, it does come from the same plant, but from the oxidation process, it loses the amount of antioxidants that green tea has. But you do get a boost of caffeine, so maybe that's the good, good downside of it. Right. That's the trade-off. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I'm looking at your website, and I'm just... I have always had a penchant for those blossoming, the, the teas that oh, open into a flower. Yes. I love your choices. They are, they're just... We have a photo of that oh, that we can share you. with the people watching online. Yeah, Aren't uh-huh. they awesome? One of them's beautiful. It's like yeah. a giant flower blossoming in the middle of the uh, teapot. <laughs> those are uh, hand-rolled uh, rosettes. And so each of those are handcrafted, 
with teas and encompassed in a flower. And I, I like to think of those as a tea firework almost. Yeah. Oh, and that's right. Drop, yes. <laughs> right? You drop one of those rosettes in a hot pot of water, and it, it takes about eight minutes to fully blossom, and then about 12 to get the real steeping of the flavors into the water. But it's a, it's a beautiful, calming way to enjoy a good cup of tea. It really is. Mm -hmm. And in fact, Janae, um, we're sort of leaning into that direction now. I was going to ask you, what is the best way to make tea? You don't you don't put the bag into the water and then boil it on the stove, right? <laughs> no, no. You know, and um, there's actually many different ways you can brew your own cup of tea. Um, I like to think of it as to each his own. But the basic method that you uh, thing you want to keep in mind is after you steep your tea leaves in the water, you want to remove those tea leaves so that you'd not, you're not drinking in the tea leaves at the end. And so you can use something like a strainer. Mm -hmm. A strainer is an easy way to pour the water and the tea leaves through so it catches your tea leaves. Um, you can use a, like a tea bag, but in the end you do have to take the tea bag out. Because yeah, if, if they sit in the water too long, it gets bitter, right? It does, uh, exactly. So keep in mind that each tea has its own brewing temperature and its own brewing time and um, the way I like to think about it to keep it easy for me is white tea which has the most amount of antioxidants and the least amount of caffeine needs to be brewed in a, a warmer not too hot water whereas black tea and oolong tea which has stronger caffeine less antioxidants can be brewed in the hotter temperatures of water ah, okay from around 190 to 212 degrees Fahrenheit. And green would kind of be in between the white? In between, exactly, Randall. It'd be around 175 to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. That's interesting. I, yeah, I because <laughs> I, I try to be good water, about right? it. Right? <laughs> 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 uh, Patty bought me uh, years ago a beautiful glass pot that has a, a spot in it for the flower to bloom. Mm -hmm. uh, and, it, I, and then you can remove it. And then you can remove it, yeah, which is, uh, which is nice. I love that. Now, uh, Bird Pick Tea is located, uh, you have, what, three locations in Southern we California? We Randall, yes. Uh, we have one in uh, Pasadena, Old Town Pasadena, also Santa Monica Place and Westfield Culver City Mall. Oh, you're in three really great locations, and I imagine uh, a large chunk of your business comes online nowadays? We do have an online portion, too, so please check out our website. We have um, descriptions of all the teas there, uh, tea tidbits to help you brew the perfect cup. You just check it out. Yeah, birdpick.com. Uh, Got it. Thank you, Randall. It's so simple. Uh, Janae Bagley, Bagley rather, with a Bird Tick Tea and Herb in Southern California. Thank you for sharing your tea knowledge with us. Oh, thank you so much, Patty and Randall, for having me. I enjoyed it. Make it a great day. You too. Enjoy. Thank you. And thank you, everyone, for joining us on this Veterans Day. Mm -hmm. Patty Fiburn for coming in at the crack of dawn. We always appreciate that. <laughs> Uh, Ricardo Teodosio for running the video, Cora Adama for getting everyone on the line, and Anthony Renaro for his help as well as, can I fit this in really quickly, Preston you Smith.